This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. User Interface Project Browser. So we're going to start a new file again. So we're in Projects. We're going to click on New. We're just going to explore the Project Browser a little bit. So this right here is the Project Browser. So I can just drag that out. You can drag it to another screen if you have one, or you can drag it to the right or to the left. You can drag it underneath another palette or above. What if you turn it off? How do you get it back? Just go to View, User Interface, and then you can just turn it back on. If you turn it off, you're lost because this is really guiding you through your building. Just make sure that I'm in Level 2, Structural Plans. That's just the default view that we're working with. And we're going to go to the Home tab, and then we're going to go to the Wall tool, click on Wall, and then we're just going to click on this tool right here, which is Rectangle, and we'll just draw a rectangle like that. We're still in the Wall tool, so I'm going to hit Escape twice. How do I look at what I've done from different vantage points? The answer is the Project Browser. So I could click on Elevations, and then I could go into the South Elevation, which is this view marker right here. Just double click on South. And there you go. So there's the walls that I drew from a south elevation. If I go to a west elevation, then there are the walls. Now, here's a little interesting point about the Project Browser. Not every view and category is in there right away. As you create objects like schedules, as you create views like 3D views. So let's do that. I'll just click on this little 3D house. And now you're looking at your view from a 3D vantage point. If I click on the Project Browser, I can see that now there's a heading called 3D Views. And there's the 3D view right there. The Project Browser also holds things like all of your sheets. So if you were to make sheets, I just right-clicked and then made a sheet. So there's the sheet right there. All of your sheets are going to be in here, all of your families. So these are all of like your blocks, your building blocks of your model. They're all going to be saved right under here in Families. You're also going to have your groups and any other links. So this is really a master control of your entire project. We'll definitely be looking at this a lot more in depth as we go through the course. So that's a good introduction and we can continue from there.